हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू फॉर व्यू ट्यूटोरियल माइक्रोसॉफ्ट पर व्यू एंड वी कैन सी इन लास्ट वीडियो दैट वी हैव क्रिएटेड माइक्रोसॉफ्ट पर व्यू सो एज वी नो दैट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट पर व्यू इज अ न्यू ऑफरिंग फ्रॉम माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एंड इट हेल्प्स अस टू डिस्कवर डाटा विच इज इन टू डिफरेंट प्लेस इन टू योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो फर्स्ट स्टेप वी ऑल डू दैट वी गो अड एंड रजिस्टर ऑल द डाटा सेट्स एंड डाटा सोर्सेज इन टू सिस्टम एंड दिस पर व्यू गोज स्कैन ऑल द डाटा एंड दैट इज हाउ इट हेल्प्स टू पीपल हु आर लुकिंग फॉर दिस डाटा राइट दिस इन टी टी एंड दे कैन कम एंड डिस्कवर दैट वन एंड ऑल्सो इफ देर इज डाटा देन वी कैन एसोसिएट वॉट इज द बिजनेस मीनिंग वॉट इज द ग्लोसरी फॉर दैट वन वी कैन एसोसिएट डिफरेंट पॉलिसी सो वेन पर व्यू एसकेंस इज ऑल्सो ए साइंस लेबल एंड क्लासिफिकेशन टू डाटा बाय डिफरेंट लॉजिक एंड ऑल्सो वी कैन गो एंड मैनुअली एडिट एंड असाइन डिफरेंट क्लासिफिकेशन डाटा सो बेस्ड ऑन दैट वी कैन इनरिच आवर डाटा रिलेटेड ग्लोसरी राइट एंड पीपल कैन कम टू ए सेंट्रल प्लेस एंड पीपल कैन डिस्कवर दैट वन यूज दैट वन सो दैट इज वॉट दैट मीट फॉर पर व्यू एंड इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव क्रिएटेड हाउ टू क्रिएट पर व्यू इंस्टेंस एंड ऑल्सो इन अनदर वीडियो वी हैव इंटीग्रेटेड स्नो फ्लैक विथ पर व्यू इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कनेक्ट अजूर सिक्वल डाटा बेस एंड सी दैट हाउ वी कैन रजिस्टर एज ए सोर्स हाउ वी कैन स्कैन अजूर डाटा बेस एंड ऑल द एसेट इन साइड अजूर डाटा बेस राइट सो लेट्स गो अहेड एंड सी दिस वन okay so let's go into data map section so let's try to register azure sql as a source so if you see this is screen right now we have a snowflake as a source and it is sending the uh, all the scan is happening into test service snowflake sub collection under sales and if we register the new source let's go to azure sql and so let's select azure sql source right now and if we go into that details let's put the name okay and if it is listing from all subscription i know that we i have something into this subscription so i can go and select the server name and now we have to provide that which collection it is going to send so right now we are sending something into this sales and snowflake one so let's go into hr1 and right now policy we are not working so policy is disabled right now and let's register this source so right now source will be registered and we can see the update into map data map section so yeah we can see that uh, something in under coming into hr direct hr collection we are going to put put into this one so let's go and try to edit this one and set up a new scan right so not from here we have to go into view detail and here we can go and set up a new scan so when we set up the new scan then we have to provide the connectivity details so right now we can go and provide the fully qualified uh, name for database or also we can go for subscription so i selected from subscription and we can go most secured way that we can add per view msi into uh, azure database and then we can do but for that one we need to have our database set up uh, connectivity from ad that we did not do not have so let's go and create a new credentials for this uh, work right so and this will be not a managed identity because i, I told you that we need to set up ad for uh, azure sql and also service principle will work in the same way so let's go for sql authentication but i would not recommend to go for that one into production and other thing for demo purpose that is okay so let's go ahead and create a um, login right so let me go ahead and we need to create a login with create login command and this will be the password i will delete this one after some time and then uh, we have to create user into our db uh, with this login so it okay so let's create this one updated command and then we have to give that details to as a, as a reader not but let's try with reader first and then if we no need to go with uh, lineage then we have to provide the details for all the details but we are not going right now with linear uh, lineage thing so we can go with the reader one and let's try that one right 
So let me put this uh, password into our key vault so that it can take from that. Let, let me put this one into key vault. So this secret, that secret into key vault has this password now. So if we go it here, and if we select our existing key vault connection, which we did into previous video, and we can put this uh, password name, secret name, and the username, we have just created a user. So let's use this purview login user. And, and once it is done, right, let's create this one. And let's try to test. So this lineage in required that create master key and DB owner. Let's disable lineage right now. Let's try to test connection. Yeah, so test connection is successful with DB reader only because we are not using lineage for now. And then we can go and see that scanning. So we have to scope our scan that we want to scan fully a full database or we want to scan only some portion of the database that we can do or only some table. So right now let's scope everything and then what is the scan rules we are going to apply. So right now if we want to create rules we can go ahead and create new rules also but let's, let's select the default one which we can see the details for that one. So this rules contains that okay it is going to try to find all this uh, classification rules it is going to apply and other things uh, depending upon data so let's select this one only and let's uh, and this screen says that how much uh, when we are going to schedule that one recurring you want to scan or only once so let's go for only once for now and let's run this one right so right now it is in queue it will take some time to run so right now it is in progress So if you see after discovery of 24, it is right now ingested 11. It is doing more. Let's let us let us wait for completion of this scan. So now a scan has been completed and it took some time for that one. So we can see now 24 discovery asset is there and 21 is classified. So if we go into collection section in this one, right now into HR section right because we have a set over there so if we go and try to see this one a set in the collection all this asset is going to come all these details are there some tables are there that schema is there and that database is also as a set all this is there and if we go into role assignment default role whatever inherited from that one so that is came but we can add later also on these details that who are the owner for this data set and other things if we go into monitoring also we can see that one scan has happened and it took some time and it, it was succeeded and if we go into data section, data catalog, previously there was a six set, now 32 is there, two sources are there. If we go to browse that one, and if we go into HR section where we have browse, so this all are now coming that address details was there. And if we go MS SQL, MS SQL is there. So if we go into details for this one, we can say that all the property in the schema is coming for that one. And in browser set, we can go and see that a classification person name, how many people, uh, table has person name, how many table has email address, right? Phone number, email address, all this, this is going to come. So phone number, how many table has phone number? So it is it classified everything, right? Classification is done for that one. And if right now, if you go into by source type, we have source like a Snowflake and Azure SQL. So that is how we can go. And if we search from here also, now everything should come right. So this is here, everything is coming on the same page. And if we search about movie, right? Interesting that movie we have into both places right now, into a snowflake also and uh, into uh, 
if you see snowflake also has movie table and azure sql has also movie table and this this also contains something and let's see look what location contains why it is coming to movie section so maybe some schema has movie details yeah movie id is there so that is why it is coming into uh, this details right so and contact wise also we can say because we have in this movie table we did that who are the people for um contact so that is why it is coming over there mm -hmm.